Um, uh, first of all, I've always been a competitive athlete. I mean, yeah, from high school, which I went to school in the Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach area, Hampton, Virginia, actually. We're state champions in football, so I've always been an athlete. So from playing in sports, always weight training, you know, then going to college on a football scholarship, still weight training, getting bigger and bigger <laughs> through all that time. Yeah. Finally, when I came back after college, started doing some more real serious weight training. <laughs> and before you knew it, I was competing in bodybuilding shows in, in the Virginia area. I was competing in uh, all, over the, all over the nation. Actually, I was doing a lot of different shows. Uh, I was doing so well that I was actually in Florida and I had one, uh, a couple really, really big bodybuilding shows, but I was at one called the Southern States where I had done so well there that I really had to make a decision if I wanted to be a professional bodybuilder mm -hmm. or if I wanted to, you know, play another sport. There were yeah. still, it's still inside of me, you know, I just came out of football. There was still something inside of me wanting to play a sport, okay, mm -hmm. and, and not really bodybuilding, but I enjoyed bodybuilding because it worked with everything that I did. So during that time, really good shape, winning a lot of different shows. Uh, I met a football agent, okay. NFL agent, that okay. uh, said, listen, you have a great background. You have uh, a lot of NFL teams that were already interested in you right out of high school. Uh, I'd like to pick you up as a free agent. So I went for a football tryouts for the Miami Dolphins. This is a time when they had Dan Marino there, yeah. Duper, Clayton. He had an unbelievable, boom, I mean, had an unbelievable offensive armory there. So that was a really, really good time for to be able to play for the Dolphins. They had a yeah. great team during that time. So you have they, the body for that. Yes, oh, yeah. correct. I, they had about, uh, that day, they probably had about, uh, I don't know, I'd say at least, Three, four thousand, if probably about three, four thousand people who tried out. There was wow. a ton, football field was full, wow. plus there were people on the side, but they were cutting people like this. Boom. It was one day tryout. Okay. If you didn't have fast enough 40, cut. If you didn't do drills, I mean, they were cutting people to get down to the new grade. Yeah. So at the very, very end of the day, when it was all said and done, there was basically about a hundred, I'd say about a hundred guys that were left maybe a little bit less than 100, and they were interested in all of us, and I was one of those. They offered us a free agent contract, which during that time was only $70,000 a year, okay. which is not bad money, not bad. but then you could renegotiate that next year, and you could have millions of dollars. But I was working for Bally's at that time. <laughs> I was already making a six-digit income. I was already making great money, and they were already grooming me for a quarter of a million dollar position for the company. So I turned down the NFL offer because I was already in a great position where I was at. Plus playing football, you could really get hurt and you could be out just like that. I couldn't go back to my corporate position. Okay. So I didn't want to take any chances losing that corporate position. But during that time and during that football is how wrestling began.